Welcome to chemistry concept and let's discuss today how to balance a chemical a redox reaction and with an example of Cr2O7 to negative chromate ions reacting with SO3 to negative to give Cr3 positive and SO4 to negative so this is actually an ionic equation an ionic uh, redox equation which we have to balance so first step is write down the oxidation number of everything like plus 6 is that of chromium here sulfur is in plus 4 oxidation state here if you want to know how to find out the oxidation state uh, we have another video you can refer to that okay now uh, plus 3 is oxidation state of chromium on this side and plus 6 is the oxidation number of sulfur on the sulfate or product side so you can see the chromium is giving going from plus 6 to plus 3 this is reduction half reaction and on the other hand sulfur is going from plus 4 to plus 6 this is oxidation half reaction okay the next step is to balance all the atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen so other than oxygen and hydrogen we have chromium and sulfur sulfur is already balanced on both sides the chromium it has to balance there is two chromium on the reactant side there is only one on the product side so we multiply by it by this now let's find out what is the actual number of electron transfer see plus 6 to plus 3 that means it is gaining 3 electrons per chromium atom there are 2 chromium atoms so totally 6 electrons involved in the reduction while on the oxidation side you can see sulfur is going from plus 4 to uh, plus 6 that means the transfer of 2 electrons now we have to balance this transfer because in redox reaction the same amount which, uh, of a uh, same electron which is produced uh, by oxidation is used for the reduction so the number of electrons must be equal and for that we multiply this, this, the sulfur side by 3 and the equation then becomes 3SO3 to negative and the product side is, it is 3SO4 to negative ok now the next step is to balance the total charge on reactant side chromate ion has minus 2 charge SO3 negative they are 3 SO3 negative so total it is you can see minus 6 charge net charge on the reactant side is minus 8 on the product side there are 3 chromium 3 positive that means plus 6 and then there are 3 sulfate 2 negative that means minus 6 so on the product side net charge is 0 so in order to balance what we do we add 8 protons on the reactant side because there is a net minus 8 charge and then if we add plus 8 protons that means 8 positive charge the net will become 0 now okay so after we have balanced all the atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen we have balanced electron transfer then we have balanced the net charge now it's time to balance the remaining thing that means hydrogen and oxygen on reactant side with 8 protons the number of hydrogen atoms is 8 now and number of oxygen atoms is 7 from chromate 3 from SO3 to negative that is 16 oh sorry it's 3 into SO3 to negative that means a net of 9 sulfur 9 oxygen atoms from 3 ions of SO3 to negative and 7 from Cr2O7 to negative that means a net of 16 oxygen atoms on the product side there is no hydrogen but oxygen atoms are 12 so the difference is of 8 hydrogen atoms and 4 oxygen atoms or in short we can say 4 water molecules okay if we add 4 water molecules these hydrogens also get balanced so this is a net 
balanced redox reaction and this is how we balance it first we balance all the atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen then we balance the, the oxidate the number of electrons transferred then we balance total charge on the both side using proton and then finally we balance hydrogen and oxygen and let me write uh, the entire equation once again the balanced equation okay that would be uh, so this this is how to balance a chemical equation in acidic medium and the balanced equation is cr2o7 to negative plus 3 so3 to negative plus 8 protons giving 2 cr3 positive 3 so4 to negative and 4 water molecules now in this reaction you can see there are involvement of hydrogen ions that means this is a re this reaction is balanced in acidic medium okay now if i want to balance an equation in basic medium there is one extra step do one thing there are eight protons on the reactant side so just add 8 oh negative ions on the reactant side just in order to balance it okay and then again eight this at the same amount of oh negative ions that is 8 oh negative ions on the product side also so what will happen eight protons and eight oh negative ions will combine to give eight water molecules and on the product side there are also four water molecules so these four water molecules will come on the react reactant side giving only uh, and cancel out leaving behind four water molecules so the balanced equation in the basic medium or in the alkaline medium will become cr2o7 2 negative reacting with 3so3 2 negative plus four water molecules giving 2 cr3 positive plus 3so4 Two negative plus eight OH negative. Now you can see in the basic on the alkaline medium, they they are involvement of OH negative ions. So just just balance in acidic medium and then add the equal number of OH negative ions as they are protons on reactant and product both sides. I hope things were clear to you. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and giving your feedback.